Welcome to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. The X Dr. Tommy O Show takes a holistic approach to our community's healthcare needs and concerns. I am your host, Dr. Tommy O, and I'm here with Bishop Burkett. Bishop Burkett, welcome to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. Yes, I, it's always <laughs> uh, an excitement. <laughs> yeah. Because um, we have such a close relationship, and as your pastor, it's just wonderful that we can really bring this kind of information to the people. Right, and we right. got something special this time. Yes, we do. And once again, we're always on the cutting edge. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, today's show, we're going to talk about yeah. uh, fighting childhood obesity through therapeutic roller skating. And we have a host, fantastic individual I've known for about seven years now, Tyrone Brunson. That's correct. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bishop, for having me. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy, for having me. Sure. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, uh, I just want to basically help um, the Bronx community. Yes. Um, um, I don't want to seem like the Pied Piper or anything to that effect, <laughs> but however, it's just that um, being at the Bronx is hurting yes, in such, is. such a um, devastating way. I mean, um, with the obesity uh, campaign yeah. and, mm -hmm. and diabetes, I just want, I, th I thought that I, I and my organization mm -hmm. can actually um, work in such a way. Right to get a, a point across as far as fitness and things of that nature. Okay. Well, let's talk about your organization. Okay. It's called SCUFFY. That is correct. What's SCUFFY? SCUFFY basically is, is an acronym. And the acronym basically is um, Skaters United for Fitter Youth. And that's an organization where we have as um, a, um, true talented individuals where we come together um, just for one purpose, and that purpose basically is to promote fitness, fun, and um, just the mere fact uh, through roller skating um, that we can get some things done. Right, right. So before we continue with the program, let's talk about your passion in roller skating. That's how we met. That's correct. That's, so where my, did this passion come from? Listen, I, I've been roller skating for <laughs> 35 years, and for 35 years, um, you know, um, people can get hypnotized by just go, going in a circle. And, you know, I was skating in, uh, at the Skate Key uh, when it was on Allerton Avenue. Um, and I skated in uh, the Grand Concourse as well. And it, it was something about just the Bronx community um, and, and just meeting because I'm actually from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And being from Elizabeth, New Jersey, um, a kid who didn't know anything about roller skating except for I was the baddest thing that was on eight wheels. But it, it, it you know, in just branching out, right. not only to um, Roxy's and, and New York and, and Bergenfield and so on and so forth, but just to, to come through and venture into a place called Bronx, New York, yeah. mm -hmm. and to skate with um, such individuals such as um, Tommy and then brush elbows. Now, you know, in, in such a segue, we, we really don't know who we have in our, in our um, you know, in the, in the locale. That's right. Mm -hmm. As far as who we skate with, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I was telling Tommy, I was like, listen, I'm, you know, in my quest to, to get some uh, sound backing for my program, they were telling me that, you know, I would need a PhD or um, I would need someone with a PhD yeah. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I started venturing out. I started venturing out to um, um, people online, people I didn't know, and so on and so forth. And then it, it just so happened that um, a person who knew me, which is Wayne Schmidt, um, who was one of the managers of um, um, Skate, Skate Key, Key, he yeah. said, hey, listen, talk to Bishop Burkett, talk mm -hmm. to Tommy O. These guys will set you straight. So I'm like, okay, well, listen, I don't know these guys. You don't, these guys don't know me. <laughs> right. But just the mere fact of meeting you Mm -hmm. um, and, and talking to you, right, yeah. and, and you don't know it, but I had you on speakerphone. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. and, and my lady friend was sitting there, yeah. and, and you know, it, it, it kept getting cut off and things of that nature, but when you're trying to get a mission across, you're always going to have interruptions, sure you, will, yeah. you know what I mean? However, yeah. our passion was, <laughs> the passion was, hey, listen, he's missing my call, I'm going to call him back. 
And, and the bishop says, <laughs> right. bishop says, listen, he's missing my call, and I'm going to call Going him back. back. Right. And we were going back and forth. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Well, that, that's important. You know, we, we have a family here, and, and we have the same mission, the same desire. Yeah. That's correct. Um, and, you know, just a quick story so we can get into your program, that you, you, you were saying that you saw articles about the bishop and I in Changes in Magazine. Changes Magazine. That's yeah. correct. And yeah. that's how you yeah. were able to make the connection. Yes, that's correct. And you knew of me but you didn't know you saw me roller skating I saw, I, as a matter of fact not to cut you off <laughs> i seen it in, I, I would call him an enigma because you you can imagine you you see a guy and he's dressed up and i i i, I always um the first time i saw you you had your little bandana on right and he had on his his sweat workout yeah, um right. and then his big gym pants and things of that nature and you're like Okay, do I, I do I stay away from this guy or you know? <laughs> yeah, right. But actually, when I when I when I ran up to him, I said, "Wait a minute," and I looked at his bio. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I and, and I saw his face, and I said, "You know, you look like this guy named Tommy O." He said, yeah. "And you must be Tyrone Brunson." <laughs> right. So it was like a, right. a, a yeah, real yeah, yeah. Right. you know connection. Uh, connection. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you for right, the term. Right, right, right. That's it. It's it's a, yeah. it's important. And when you're meeting and working with the people who have the same passion, you're going to have that connection sure. and you move forward, and that's what we're looking to do. That's so let's correct. get right into your program now. There we I, go. Can I say something? Yeah, yeah. He mentioned the skate key because I fought real hard mm -hmm. to keep the skate key open. And one of the biggest losses for families and children has been skating and skate key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really a place where families came together. Uh, it, was a, it was a healthy environment. It was a chance for them to work off all this extra weight, mm -hmm. you know, and to see how God worked it out that <laughs> Tommy O skates at Skate Key. I'm, I fought to keep Skate Key, so my passion was to, that skating was an important factor, right. you know, in the health of our community. That and you correct. come right along with Scuffy program, uh, you know, it's like God saying it ain't over yet, right. okay? Well, I, you know, Bishop, it's funny that you say that. Mm -hmm. And I keep referring to this accident I had in 2008. And to make a long story short, it could have been four caskets that went away from um, that scene in, in um, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yeah. But people were saying it in the hospital. They were right. saying, you know, there's a mission for you guys. Yeah, mm. I see. There's a, there's a reason for you guys to be here. Mm. So now throughout all of, all of the, the things that I could have did or mm. done, um, basically, I was able to get in contact with you guys, and now we're here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, motivating or trying to, to put sure, together a yeah. program to, mm -hmm. to show the Bronx community, and not only the Bronx community, mm -hmm. but those communities who are willing, mm -hmm. right. you know what I mean? Because you, you, if you think about it, there are so many, so many uh, communities who are asking for a viable product mm -hmm. to say, I, I want my kid healthy. Obesity is, 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 is yeah. a, uh, I mean, when you look at an mm -hmm. epidemic or a pandemic, right. but an yeah. epidemic from that standpoint is just a matter of, we try to look at something that, I, I mean, my father is a boxer. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how we go, we, I'm, I'm listening so to you. That's right. correct. And he yeah. was a fitness guru. Mm -hmm. he, um, he actually bowls and more or less, I don't do any of that. <laughs> but what I do do is I do roller skating right. and, I, and I do it very well. And what I try to do is put that, um, that in, into a full therapeutic program where it's not babysitting, it's to go from, to give you a full medicinal um, outlook from beginning right. to end, which means that in the event mm -hmm. that your child is obese, mm -hmm. he has to be clinically pronounced obese. Mm -hmm. So we can go from that platform right. to put him into a, what would, what, where would he go a springboard effect go from right. from point A to point Z. That's right, right. Well, we, we know for a fact, and we did statistics, and this is the, the Department of Health, uh, our local government uh, in New York City, that the Bronx is the unhealthiest borough in all of New York City. The Bronx is the leader for childhood obesity. It's estimated that one in seven is overweight and approaching obesity. Mm. Uh, it's also becoming the leader for type two diabetes because we know that type two diabetes is directly related to obesity. Uh, it's also the leader for asthma, mm -hmm. HIV. Uh, so this is how we can address if if we can reduce the risk, because we talk in medicine, we don't talk cures. There is no cures in medicine. Absolutely. We talk treatments. Mm -hmm. So we're offering 
a treatment through exercise, therapeutic skating to help reduce the risk, lose the weight and reduce the risk to lower the chances of developing type 2 diabetes. Now if you have a genetic predis predisposition to develop diabetes, that's a different story. Yes, but right. if it's just due to lifestyle, behavior modification, lack of exercise and sedentary lifestyle, we have an answer and that's ther through therapeutic skating. Yeah. You know, I, as a pastor, and I'm, and I'm speaking for myself and I believe I'm speaking for mm -hmm. all the pastors of the Bronx, we're concerned about the health of our people. Uh, we're concerned that they are, are becoming more obese mm -hmm. to the point where uh, there's a lot of disorders in their situation. A lot of money is being spent on the health condition when uh, we as pastors should be more proactive. That's mm -hmm. correct. And this is what we are about here at Church Alive and Tommy O is being proactive. And the one thing I like about this skating is that you can lose weight and enjoy yourself that's, at the same time. That is correct. And that this is a total family thing. The whole family can go skating and really enjoy themselves. And at the same time, they're losing weight. Right. Now, you tell me what pastor out there wouldn't want to do that and have their, have their church go out on a nice skating day and, and have your program come to them mm -hmm. and show them how they can package this. And, and um, uh, this is just great. This is just great. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about getting into your program. Like, how, how would you want, you know, you're looking to run this program? Because the viewers want to know. I, we want to know. Uh, yeah, right I, here, right. Um, thank you. Um, um, in more ways than one, let me, let me just go with roller skating and what roller skating used to be. And then I'll, I'll tell you what roller skating should be. Right? Mm -hmm. um, when, when I was a kid, I was bought a pair of roller skaters, I mean, a pair of roller skates, and you go to the skating rink mm -hmm. and you, for, I mean, you're, you're dropped off at the, the skating rink and, you know, four hours later, your parent would come back right. and be waiting outside. Right. Well, with therapeutic roller skating, I mean, you go f through a safety regimen first, mm -hmm. which means that, okay, I don't want to bring you to the roller skating rink and then have to uh, have you carted out or wheeled out in, um, in the ambulance or anything to that effect. So we teach you safety first. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, it's, it's just a matter of, um, when you think about what are you doing, it's, a, it's a, uh, a program that basically says, all right, listen, you're big or you're the, the, um, the person that you are. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is we want to we dispense with the, the old adage, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. So we put together recreation, nutrition, and fitness, and fun all in right. one package right. and we say hey listen nobody leaves you mm -hmm. just the pounds leave mm -hmm. right. Just, uh, right now so i'd just like to know like for instance if i wanted to have you come to my community mm -hmm. and shut down a block mm -hmm. and just have everybody come out mm -hmm. and roller skate is that mm -hmm. something like what you're saying what what it is um bishop what i'm when i'm talking about something that's safe i'm mm -hmm. not sure if we want to do it in that capacity mm -hmm. um but we can do it right and, and because it's, it's like skate key clothes, there's a lot of places that are closed down. Mm -hmm. That is you, correct. So you don't have rinks, you know. Right. That's, and if and if you want to go to a rink, you have to pay money to go there, and they don't have money. That's correct. Okay. But but here's here's the thing: Do we have the government, um, the government's the government's backing, mm -hmm. to put us actually in the in the street? We mm -hmm. want to have them come calling because we have a proven uh, system mm -hmm. that says, hey, listen, I I. I like what he's doing. Um, if I can save one to two people mm. from the, the, the epidemic of obesity. Now, right. when I say save, I'm not mm. talking mm. about... Uh, well, um, what, I'm, what I'm saying, and, I, and Tommy, if I can say this, mm -hmm. is that what would be the optimum way of your program? Because I know you have some things that you have a design and, and you want to move it around to communities. I think that's where that I, it, I, I was, well, what it, interests my, me. My, my program basically is, um, I was looking at basically 15 to 25 occupants or participants. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter the amount of participants as long as that program is, is facilitated. Mm -hmm. So in the event that, that the program works, works with 15 to 25, it can mm -hmm. work with 150 to 250 people right. or to 25 as right. long as the program is done the correct way. And what I mean is, is, is instead of um, your family or your income being a, a facet 
or a reason why you're able to come to this program, no, it would never be that. What it would be is um, specific people who are picked out to say, hey, listen, we want you to enjoy mm -hmm. um, the benefits of roller skating. Mm -hmm. um, and you had said, mentioned something with regard to parents and students, mm -hmm. parents and kids. We're mm -hmm. talking about reinvigorating that idea yeah. to where now you you become somebody. You want to feel no, like somebody. No, I think I, I, I was looking at op operationally wise. Right. What? How are you going to? How are we going to get to the people? Right, right. I know some things we discussed. Right. Yeah. Well, we, we were talking yeah. about a, co a more concept like uh, we had the bookmobile growing up. Right, right. What about like a skate mobile? Right. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. And that puts me back on track. Um, we uh, more or less were thinking about mobile because skating rinks nowadays are a liability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we think about something on a capacity of um, putting uh, 25 to 100 pairs of skates in a, in a, in a mobile. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I thought. Mm -hmm. Right. And then from that standpoint, it's just a matter of, it doesn't matter where you are. There you, go. you can take that uh, idea mm -hmm. and the program and the principle right. and put it together in an armory. Right. You can put it together school. in a school, right. in a playground. Right. It does or the not church matter. Parking lot. Or the church parking lot. Right. 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 Or the church parking lot. <laughs> I think one way through through marketing, because we're talking about that, mm -hmm. we can have in the flyers through the churches. Mm -hmm. You know, you you set uh, set up dates with the pastors and the ministers of each church, and they know a Sunday you're coming in to have the children there, mm -hmm. and you can go around through community. That is correct. That is correct. Now, this is not only for children. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, for adults family, too. Family. So, in in essence, we can combine also mm -hmm. because we know we eat a lot. Mm -hmm. in the churches as well right. so we want to make sure we promote healthy <laughs> right we want to make sure that we well this promote. is a family thing i that mean they correct. all come out and enjoy it that's uh, you're bringing the skates to them that's correct uh, they have the parking lot and that's i'm talking about the churches now I'm, uh, some of you pastors you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. the parking lot is empty on on certain days you having you don't have service right. then you you know you'll you'll bring the mobile unit that's correct and um you have the skates well, i have the skates right. i have and, the sound and, equipment and, I mean, more or less, I, I, I even have the safety, the helmets, whatever you need with regard to, to right. making sure that we don't leave there unhealthy. I feel that there's a lot of people watching this program. <laughs> I'm excited about it, Tommy. I know it's your show. <laughs> no, but it's I, right. you know, I, it's, it's, it's about getting, us. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, right. I, like, I like to see something get on the road yeah, right. and get done. It's moving. And, and, and folk, you out there, just, you're looking to invest some money into good health. You look into and say, you know, I, I want to I wanna make a donation somewhere. Right. Well, what, I'm, what I'm leading to is this program in its embryo stages to become effective, you're going to have to make a donation. You're going right. to have to make a commitment to That's it. That's correct. And, and Scuffy's program is worth it. It's joy, it's, it's exercise, lose weight, diabetes down, healthy, great fun. I, you know, I, I, I miss the days of going to the skate key mm -hmm. and seeing families. Right. That was a I wonderful a thing. Good time. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Oh, and skate key is a major lot. But you're bringing back, you're bringing it back. That's right. correct. In a better way, in a more economic way. But you need finances to do right. that. That's correct. You know, and I'm saying to those who are out there are saying, I, I'm, I'm looking for a good program to donate to. This is the, in this last quarter. If you want to wipe off some of your taxes, uh, you you need, you need a program uh, <laughs> like this to to make your donation to, that you can get those things written off. And I'm going to take this program and present it. And I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to present it to the New York Yankees. Okay. I'm going to present it to some of the other big corporations and say, look, this, you want to do something right? Uh, uh, and there, there are a lot of people making millions of dollars out there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right? <laughs> and the people on the lower level are not getting any of that. Any of that. That's right. Okay. And this is one way we could, uh, you know, make a difference in a the community. They, you know, you get the tax benefit and so forth but you're also giving back to the community and you're making a difference in the community, and especially here in the South Bronx, like the bishop said, and we always say being proactive. We want to be proactive to reduce the risk for disease or pathology, which is disease. Here we can reduce the risk for lowering body weight, which will lower the risk for developing diabetes, which will stem into low back pain, uh, increase the risk if you have asthma, that will make your asthma condition worse. So it, it, it really, it, it gets compounded, you know, how much it really helps the community. So I want you, Tyrone, look into the camera and give the contact information. 
We're looking, we're looking for people who look, want to invest in this program. So give your contact information. We'll have it on the screen. Okay, my contact information is Tyrone Brunson. Um, it's uh, Route, I'm sorry, 680, Route 211 East, Middletown, New York, and it's 10941. That's the Scuffy Organization, which is a Skaters United for Fitter Youth Organization. I am Tyrone Brunson, your president, mm -hmm. and I would look forward to your donations. Um, just remember, if we cure one, mm -hmm. or we have, we aid in, in the uh, assist in the aiding of, of one individual, that saves basically 1.2 point, I'm sorry, 1.27 million dollars um, of the, uh, the county's budget with regard to medical benefits. That's correct. And that's being proactive and that's reducing correct. risks. That's correct. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's right. And I, <laughs> my phone number, I'm, I'm so sorry, my phone number is 845-326-2603. I thank you for having me. Um, all right. Well, we got still we got yeah. a few more things we want to cover. Okay. Because okay. I know, uh, um, you know, let's. Uh, who else is involved with this with you? Do you have any anyone else is just with you? As of as of right now, I mean, um, it's just my organization. We do have um, an organization out of um, Newark, New Jersey, mm -hmm. who are the Lions. Um, uh, it's a, a, a group called the Sexy Kitty uh, Sexy Kitty Skate Club and the Lions of the Sexy Kitty Skate okay. Club. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing basically is they're backing me as the individuals mm -hmm. who would be in with me in, mm -hmm. in, with regard to teaching the individuals right. or those people mm -hmm. um, and getting back into, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, fit or peak shape. Well, we hope that you, our viewers that are watching this program, will, will get engaged, get involved. Uh, the, you represent corporations, you represent agencies, certainly you represent your church uh, that are watching. Uh, this is something that we must do, folks. And I, I say that as a passionate pastor, that for the, for the health of our, our youth and for the health of the families, this is something that, you know, that God would want you to, to, to support. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're supporting this program. You know, when we ever, when, when the bishop and I, we endorse programs, you know, it's something that we feel we have a passion. And you just heard the bishop, he has a passion for this. He loves children. This is all about helping children because the children will be the leaders in our future. And we want to help. We want healthy leaders because you lead through example. And here at the church, the bishop and I lead through example. Uh, you know, getting annual history and physical. Most children, they'll go without seeing a physician for years. And even myself, <laughs> being a physician, I should uh, do that more often, but I'm so busy taking care of other people that I have a tendency to forget about taking care of myself. And now I'm having uh, you know, work done on myself and just uh, you know, the, you know, routine stuff. And, and this is something important, like you know, uh, the program, uh, very important. Uh, we want everyone in the community to be involved. Uh, just want to cover one other thing uh, because we only have about four minutes left. You have short-term, long-term, one-year, five-year plan. What, what do you see, foresee? Um, um, we, we envision five years, but we know that um, obesity and diabetes has not um, come into fruition or it hasn't come into to, uh, a, um, foreplay in five-year period. Mm. Um, I was watching a program last night where they said they were talking about, the Surgeon General was talking about, um, he had a, uh, a program that he wanted to, mm -hmm. um, to enlist in 1992, and they were talking about um, obesity and, and, and what they could do to stimulate um, healthy eating, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but was curtailed by the government. Right. So in, in essence, it's, it's not where um, a five-year, I do have a five-year plan, and that five-year plan basically is to, prom to be um, um, uh, a person who actually has come to you guys and mm -hmm. has, has promoted health. Mm -hmm. And now you guys are, or, or we're behind one another mm -hmm. and it's running, mm -hmm. you know, in a platform is, you know, right. so it's, it's spread it's running, that's right. correct. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm looking at five years, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, in five years, if we're just looking at a five year approach, mm -hmm. a five year approach is basically nothing when it compares to what we've gone through in over the last 20 to 30 years right. yeah. um, of, of combating 
obesity because obesity has not got, gotten here in over uh, for in this, uh, these f past five years. Right, right, right. Diabetes has not gotten here in these past five years. Yeah, it so it, it behooves us to, to get on board with a, a fitness program like the, the therapeutic uh, roller skating program and get out there and, and, and push your, your congressman, um, get out there and push, to push your, your, yeah. um, your senators and things of that nature and get on board and say, hey, listen, we know what the Bronx community had when mm -hmm. they had Skate Key mm -hmm. and, and so, many, so many people skated there mm -hmm. and get it back. Right. Mm -hmm. And if not get it back, put something out here that, that can say, hey, listen, let's revitalize the youth mm -hmm. in something that'll stimulate them rather than gang violence, mm -hmm. rather than um, something about, um, or bringing something to the news about how they were in their pants or right. things of that nature. We want to stimulate something that's going to bring about a change, right. Right. A, a medical change that'll say, hey, listen, or, or something that'll say, listen, I'm a better person because I got involved with this guy right. <clears throat> who was a, um, he, he said he was a nobody, but he's a somebody trying to tell somebody right. about the man upstairs. Right. There you yeah. go. That's no, I just right. want to say something. You're going to uh, put our people into action. Yeah. You're going to be talking to the borough president real soon. Okay. And, and I want you, if you're really interested in supporting this, I want you to go ahead and call the borough president's office and tell him this is a good program and you support it. And that telephone number of the borough president's office is 718 590 3,500, 718-590-3,500. You call the borough president's office and say, listen, uh, I saw this program on television, I, I support it, and you ought to back it uh, because it's for the health of your children and my, my relatives and for the families right. that are watching. Um, I just felt inspired to do that. Right, Is that right, right. okay? No, that's perfect, and I actually, we, we have a, probably about 30 seconds left. If you can give us a blessing, yes. and then we'll close yeah. the show out because we're at, right. that, we're at time. Right. We have to do this. Lord, we thank you for this great opportunity to thank bring you, information, God. resources, services to the people. Oh, God, we know that obesity is not of you. And, Lord, you've given us an opportunity now, a vehicle, oh, God, that will make a difference. Blessed, oh, God. Give us favor with the people that, that Tyrone will be talking to, oh, God, and I will be talking to, and Tamio, and certainly bless this program, oh, God, that it will touch the hearts of everyone that watch, that they will become proactive. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.